new details from a document produced by Chinese military scientists where they discuss weaponizing SARS coronaviruses five years before the pandemic hit. The book was written by People's Liberation Army scientists and senior Chinese public health officials back in 2015. It describes SARS coronaviruses as heralding, and I quote, a new era of genetic weapons. It says they can be artificially manipulated into an emerging human disease virus, weaponized and unleashed in a way never seen before. This Chinese language paper is called The Unnatural Origin of SARS and New Species of Man-Made Viruses as Genetic Weapons. That's its title. And it says, following developments in other scientific fields, there have been major advances in the delivery of biological agents. For example, the newfound ability to freeze dry microorganisms has made it possible to store biological agents and aerosolize them during attacks. Large scale biological weapon attacks can cause many indirect consequences in addition to human casualties. Major impacts include enormous burden on healthcare system. Well, we've seen that. Biological weapon attacks have a much prolonged effect than conventional attacks like explosion. It may also carry highly contagious diseases that can be transmitted through various means. Biological weapons will not only cause widespread morbidity and mass casualties, but also include formidable psychological pressure that could affect combat effectiveness. Just like other disasters, people will live under fear of attack for a considerable period of time, causing brief or lasting psychological impairment among some in other words, it goes on, attacks using biological weapons can cause acute and chronic psychological and mental illnesses, such as acute stress reactions. This 263 page paper was published by the Chinese Military Medical Science Press. That's a Chinese government owned publishing house managed by the General Logistics Department of the PLA.